Hello Amazon sellers, it looks like we have an update on global reviews no longer combining. My name is Stephen Pope, I'm the founder of my Amazon guy. If you go on the seller forums right now, you can see one of the most talked about subjects is reviews have stopped sharing across marketplaces. That is the United States reviews no longer combining with Canada, Europe, and so forth. Uh, this topic was brought up first on my Friday live session. Every Friday at noon Eastern Standard Time, I go live and answer your questions. Feel free to check us out. And uh, several people were asking, like, why their reviews were no longer combining. Now, in the past, when I've had this subject, I've typically uh, been able to help people get their reviews to combine. But it appears that this time it seems to be more systemic. That means that there might be a policy change pending to be announced. So in the past, when reviews weren't combining, it was normally because there was a UPC code that was different between one marketplace and another. And generally speaking, you would want to have the UPC to be the same if you wanted the reviews to be shared in a global review setting. Uh, and sometimes the UPC code wasn't present. Maybe you loaded it as an ASIN for the GTIN value. You get the idea. In today's uh, assessment, though, it appears there is more of a systemic change and that your global reviews are no longer going to combine permanently on Amazon. On the seller forums, VTR made a pretty good comment. I'm going to read here. Hopefully, this is Amazon putting an end to black hat operations where scammers use reviews and detail pages in other countries to kill U.S. competitors. That's an interesting thought because we've seen a lot of black hat attacks come in through the search term field. And sometimes product reviews could also be used to take down your listings in the U.S., from bad acting sellers in other countries. Now, the one thing that you can do to protect yourself is to obtain brand registry in all of these countries and list your products in said countries, specifically Canada and the UK are the primary most important ones. And then that way you're the first seller of record in those countries. I don't think Amazon is changing the global review program as part of a crackdown on black hat selling tactics. However, it's probably more likely a continuation of them cracking down on reviews and policies around reviews in general. Uh, we could go back and give a five-year history here where Amazon took away the, way, uh, the ability to incentivize reviews. Then they took away uh, many other techniques over the years and even recently, even six months ago or so, uh, you can no longer uh, you know, use a, an email to generate a review effectively. It's technically still possible, but not effectively. One Amazon seller uh, states that they've seen that their catalog is still showing the global reviews. So you can like scroll down and read them, but the global rating is only showing a single marketplace and typically the one that you're located in. So that tells me they're still connected, but they're not counting them anymore. I'll be honest, I haven't actually read most of my international product reviews on my own brand, Momster. Um, so I went and took a look at that today. Um, and so you can see like different sections of those reviews. It does say reviewed in Canada, specifically on the Canada listing. And they do put the Canada reviews up top. When I scrolled down, I found it fascinating that Mexico reviews were showing up higher than my USA reviews in Canada. Uh, so that's kind of an interesting call out. I don't speak Spanish, took three years in high school, but, um, but you can see some of those Spanish reviews here uh, on my listing. So that was interesting to see. Uh, interestingly enough, the product reviews are still showing in Canada with my combined parentage uh, numbers that I experienced over in the United States. And while I'm recording this, I happen to find a hijacker specifically shipping from China directly on my listing here in Canada. So I'll be reporting them for sure right after this video. So it goes to show if you aren't paying attention to your other marketplaces and you're primarily focused on the U.S., there are some things to go review and check out because your reviews may not longer combine and you may have a few hijackers sneak it in there and you may even have some hijacking attempts with product uh, information being manipulated in these other countries. So do some review. Uh, make sure you load your listings to Canada and the UK, even if you don't plan to sell there. It will save you some hassle 
and headaches. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of my Amazon guy. Watch this playlist for further information about the next thing you need to do to grow your sales on Amazon.